We're now joined by meditation expert Susie Yaloff Schwartz. Um, and, and I know you met Dr. Nita just the other day, but let's just talk about ways that people at home can get their OM on, because well, it's intimidating. What I love that you were saying so much is that people think this is the biggest myth in meditation that you have to stop your thoughts. And the truth is we have 50 to 80,000 thoughts every single day. So meditation is a dance. It's a dance between thinking and then bringing it back to a single point of focus. So the more you think and wander, and the more you bring it back, that's how you build the muscle, your prefrontal cortex, which is where focus, memory, executive decision-making are, and you shrink your amygdala, which is stress and anxiety. So if you just know that, and you know that you can think, then if you can breathe, you can meditate. Help me, help me flex my frontal lobe right now. Okay, what do well, I do? Okay, grab that orange that's okay, next to you. Okay, I have an you. orange and a cutting okay, board. So this is a very easy way to meditate. Slice it in half, and then you should each take a half and bring it up to your nose and close your eyes and smell it. Breathe it in. Orange is the essential smell of happiness. It triggers your brain to be happy. So if you drop it down, and then you just get present. It's an easy way to get present quickly, drawing your attention to scent. It worked. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> you just shrunk Fair. my amygdala. So the second thing is the meditation in a jar, and I love this because the jar represents your brain and the glitter represents your thoughts and your feelings. And when we feel stressed or worried or in a rush, our brains look like this. Right? But when we stop and we breathe, let's all just close our eyes and take a deep breath in and let it out with an audible exhale. <sighs> oh. Look what happens. Everything settles and becomes clear and the glitter, which represented your thoughts and feelings, are just at the bottom and it's still there. And that's what happens to your brain on meditation. And the last quickie tip is the gratitude tip. So if you're ever feeling unhappy or if you're feeling stressed out, just close your eyes. Place your hands on your heart. And I want you to all think of three things you feel grateful for right now. And now imagine yourself in a place, your happy place. It could be on vacation, it could be in your bed, wherever your happy place is and open your eyes. That was probably 15 seconds and most of you guys are smiling, so it works. I, 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 here, here's the deal. I'm so calm and so peaceful. I don't know that I can host the show. I, know, I the just rest said, of the day. I, Susie, <laughs> that, I forgot I was on TV. I, I mean, I really did. Yeah. And I gave gratitude to hang out with you two super Aww. dogs. Susie, thanks so much. Thank you. And uh, Dr. Nita, thanks for trying that out. Oh, yes, it was my pleasure.